derpa derp. Oh hi! I was just doing some sodium explosions in my backyard. Hey, and welcome to the very first episode of Remy Ricks the Science Chick. I'm your host, Remy Ricks the Science Chick. <laughs> We're like Bill Nye, but not. weight and mass. In today's society, weight is often mistaken for mass. People will say that they weigh x kilograms, when really they mean they mass x kilograms. The first problem there is that weight isn't measured in kilograms. Weight is the attraction between a celestial body and an object. Basically, it's the force of an object due to gravity. Mass is an invariant property of matter. Oh, it's all so proper, isn't it? It's sort of like the quantity of stuff in an object. Mass is a scalar. A scalar is a measurement that doesn't have a direction. Another example of a scalar would be temperature. Temperature doesn't really have a direction. Of course you can say on the thermometer it goes up and down, but that's sort of a way of measuring it versus the actual thing, which is the average kinetic energy of particles and energy doesn't really have a direction. So mass is a scalar, but weight is a vector. A vector is a measurement that has a magnitude, a size, and a direction. Directions. Another example is velocity. Okay, so weight's a vector, mass is a scalar. Wait, what? I can explain this with a volleyball. If I hold the volleyball close to me, it's harder for someone to just come along and take it. But if I hold it out here, someone can just come along and do that. How this relates to weight is when you're standing on the Earth's surface, the Earth has a better hold on you. The higher you are from the Earth, the less gravity it's on you. And when you're in space, you're weightless, because you're no longer within the Earth's gravitational field. There's a reason you don't hear people say that they're massless in space, because they still have mass. <laughs> okay, get ready, because I'm going to throw an equation at you. That's my thing, I throw equations at people. Fg equals mg. Where m is mass measured in kilograms, Fg is force of gravity measured in newtons, and g is gravity in newtons per kilogram. Those little hat things mean that it's a vector. Whoop-de-doo! What does it all mean, Basil? It's time for an example! You are standing on the surface of the celestial body, yo mama. Aye, so when you stand on the surface of yo mama, the force of gravity is 15 newtons per kilogram, you feel me? Your mass is 60 kilos. We got Fg equals 60 kilograms times 15 newtons per kilogram. 60 times 15, that's 900 newtons, you feel me? If you're three kilometers off the surface of your mama, the gravity up there is 10 newtons per kilogram. So three kilometers off the surface of your mama, your weight is 600 newtons. But your mass off the surface of your mama is still 60 kilograms. You know, unless you went on a diet or you're radioactive or a... To sum up what we hopefully learned today, weight is a vector. It's variable. It's measured in newtons. And it's the force of gravity between two objects. But it's still okay to say something weighs something when you're not actually referring to weight. Unless you're surrounded by physicists, then they might get mad. But it is a common phrase. So hopefully now you won't confuse weight and mass. And hopefully you won't get mauled by wild physicists for using the wrong term. It's happened. So this has been the first installment of Remy Ricks the Science Chick. I'm your host, Remy Ricks the Science Chick, saying, I need a new catchphrase. Ooh. <laughs> this amuses me too much.